Hello everybody, yeah. welcome to season 49, the first round match between Fanjo and his humans and Rick Reckless and his orcs. In the booth with me is Dimmy G, the champ. Hello. Hello Jimmy, how are you doing? Um, two very good coaches, round one of Chalice, two very good teams as well. I mean, uh, when I play uh, humans... I find orcs very difficult, um, but yeah, like it's, it's a really, really nice human team, and uh, also equally a very, very nice orc team. Well, that had to settle a lot, yeah. Um, that's, that's yeah, great orc team, really great. Loads of mighty blow. Like, how many mighty blow does he have? Three, six, eight mighty blow. <laughs> because yeah, it's basically everyone, yeah, he's got he's got about as much mighty blow on this orc team than dwarfs have guard on their team. So yeah. Yeah, because he's got a Black Orc Misneck, so that's why they're actually equal TV, these two teams. Um, deep bench for the humans. A lighter bench than you'd think for the Orcs, because obviously the Goblin is not really a full player. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the human the human team isn't that good, but it's, it's got an amazing player, hasn't it? It's got, it's got, like, it's got a Tackle Pommer, and it's, and it's got an amazing catcher, so like... And the Orcs... Also, apparently, have Johnny Wilkinson on their team because that kickoff was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it was, yeah, yeah, it was. Hello, Jack Ball. Jack Ball. Hello. Jack Ball. Hello. Hello. You got to guess who's win this. I mean, I would guess the Orcs would win this because the the humans don't have a ca uh, don't have a wizard, right? Like, if if they had the wizard with his edge five catcher. I, I just, I just think orcs are better than humans. Like Way generally, better. like they've got like so much more. Sh they got like nine, if you include the troll, nine uh, strength access players. Whereas humans have only got five, if you include the ogre. Um, yeah, they've got a bit more speed, um, but yeah, they're, they're not that fast. The only guys that are faster are the catchers. Yeah, and they can't use that speed as efficiently as, say, Wood Elves or Skaven can because they haven't got the agility to go with it. So, um... Oh, you say that, Jim. He's got an edgy five. <laughs> yes, he does. Yeah, he's, he's got one player. Um, yeah. Of course, I, neither me nor Dimmy have seen this match. We've got no idea what's going to happen. It's it's going to be a thriller minute. And how hard <laughs> um, Yeah, like they, they've got the speed, but then it's just it's harder to use the speed because they don't have the agility apart from. Yeah, the the thing is, is like you can you can potato, but then who's gonna come with you? That's yeah. the thing, isn't it, right? Yeah. So I mean, the move, the blitzes are movement seven, so there is that. Um, but yeah, gem generally speaking, I find it really weird because in Blood Bowl, like in the box set, it's humans versus orcs, and like I don't really know what TV it's even like. Maybe a thousand TV, like it's as even as it is, but it's still not even. Like with the four strength four players and the the four block, because they they both got four block players out of the box, and um, but then you've got like a, a strength five and a strength four, or whatever. So. Yeah, I don't think I'd ever give humans the advantage with equal resources, but of course there are certain formats where humans are put in a tier or two below orcs, and then that yes, becomes exactly, fair, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 exactly. Good afternoon, and gentlemen. Hey, oh my God, hello, hello, brother. You alright, mate? Hello, hello. I thought it, I thought that uh, of course since Jimmy joined me in this game on Rick's channel, I would give deference. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, thank you very much for joining us. Of, of course, Jack Bull, neither me nor Dimmy have seen this game. We have no idea what's going to happen. So it's amazing that you've joined who also haven't seen this game and also have no idea what's going to happen. <laughs> I, yeah, exactly. It's like I know that I've got to pick up my kids in exactly one hour and 20 minutes and I will make it right on time. <laughs> you will, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> not that I know that, of course. <laughs> Amazing, yeah. No, none of us know anything. I don't know. I don't know why anybody would say any of us know anything. <laughs> well, he, he greeted that GFI there, didn't he? He did, yeah. He could have just followed, but I guess he didn't want to base the ogre. I guess not. Um, I'm sure I had a jackpot pitch on the It's that large, good looking fellow with the. Uh... With the cod piece. When you say large, <laughs> when you say like, how tall are you, Jackpool? I'm six foot eight. 
Uh, okay, that's pretty large. Yeah. <laughs> I, I am a svelte five foot ten. What? You're a midget? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 it's funny, yeah, because uh, all of my my dad and all of my uncles were six foot three and above. Yeah, my brother is six foot four. And, uh, and I, uh, yeah, and now my son, who is 13, is already five foot nine. So, oh wow, yeah, it skipped my generation. At nine? Did you say nine? Yes. Oh five my foot nine. god! And he's already one size shoe larger than me. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's 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 two cigar two cigars tack, stacked high. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Same height as Dimmy. It definitely ain't. You ask Hancock. Funnily enough, Hancock isn't around anymore. <laughs> right about the same time, he said, I was like Gaza of Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> like then, he, him. <laughs> then he just disappeared. Yeah, it was weird, wasn't it? Yeah, funny how it happens. Yeah. How tall are you, Dimmy? Just six foot, wasn't it? Yeah, bang on six foot, yeah. yeah so five foot eleven and a half probably. In his in his wife's heels. No no no, I've got I've got I've got official measurements. <laughs> I can't tell you where they came from, but they are official. <laughs> six foot on his tiptoes. <laughs> no, no no the DNA is tested and everything. <laughs> what's 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 that on my left breast there, uh, Jimmy? <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, I, well, I, made, I, made, I started making you, you see, I started making you, and then I was going to put, like, I was going to upload a picture of, like, Texas or whatever and put that over it, um, but then, of course, they, they stopped being able to edit them, so I was... Is, uh, is that the Palestinian flag? What is that? Probably, yeah, it's probably something like... Look, you know, it does look a little know. bit like the Palestinian flag. Yeah, it's it's something, it was whoever whoever the fucking guy was, you know, like, there was a wrestler, wasn't there, so it's probably... Yeah. Is that the... the Iran, Addy is saying maybe? it's a Syrian flag, okay, I don't know, I, I honestly... Maybe Iran, I, I don't know, whoever, whoever the wrestler was, like, it's a real... There's a Are real you legit? One. Iraq, Are you, yeah, uh, probably Iraq, maybe, yeah. Check. Jack Ball, you legit sending Hank off a cowboy hat because I'm incredibly jealous. Well, yeah, you want I I offered you pr pr prizes too, but you didn't want to take them. I wanted a cowboy hat. I didn't want a hundred dollars. So, you know, With a hundred bucks, you can buy a cowboy. How would you like it if I sent you a pair of spurs? How does that sound? I, I don't do anything to do with spurs. Sorry. <laughs> hey. Uh, but, can't handle spurs, mate. That's disgusting. That's, that's <laughs> <laughs> Bonk. Bonk! I love that noise. Yep. The stand for so bonk. Oh, the bonk. Yeah, I've. I, uh, by the way, this guy here who's making the foul is in my dream team. Soccer Bolt. Yeah, huge player. I think he's a. Uh, each player for the game. That's a disappointing non-armor break as well. Yeah, he's got he? yeah, three, three assists. Yeah. Really yeah, but I mean, he's already he's already KO'd the blitzer here and made. Yeah, he's back. Yeah, like that 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 blitzer that blitzer is also on my dream team. So I'm hoping he comes back at some point. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost as if you don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> well, we, it's because it's because I obviously don't know how dream teams work, and I keep picking players on the opposite teams from each other, where you should clearly pick the team that you think is going to win. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I, I kind of goofed with the uh, the Chalice dream team thing. Dimmy done Sadly. goofed. Yeah, but like I'm I'm the sort of guy that needs to do something before I understand it. So, like you can tell me what's right and wrong. And I won't understand it, but then I'll. I'll... There was uh, there was where Rick did that uh, that greed duel there, and nobody died. Mm. Uh, that was interesting, yeah. Yep. I, I, I find it amazing to believe that we're already on turn six, and we've only been talking for about 30, 30 seconds or so. Well, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Rick has been absolutely banged on here. Yeah. Like two teams. Yeah, Rick got equal the TV. Crap he got the first half of this game. Yeah, like he's been absolutely banged on. Like, Fanjo hasn't had to do anything really exciting or anything technical or anything difficult. He's just rolled two dice blocks, like, put the guards in the right places. And he's just got the results. And then, like, Rick's tried to counter it. Hasn't really got going. I mean, that pile on there is a bit greedy. But then I guess that is a result of Fanjo believing that he's behind. So it's kind of fine as well at the same time. So... Yeah, like yeah, that was it's pretty all greedy, wasn't it? That was pretty greedy. That was that was an incredibly greedy. But if it gets a Kaz, like it kind of makes sense. Like it, I, I mean, like would I do it? Probably not. But like 
Okay, like, and if he's gonna foul it anyway, like, it kind of makes sense. And there you go. The, there's the uh, the KO for the for the greeds. Um, I, I would have liked to have dodged. We, I I tell you what, I wouldn't have followed and I wouldn't have fouled because I would have dodged this guy out. But I guess if you if you're gonna leave this guy in, then it's obviously fine. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Yeah, we were surprised he left him there, right? Yeah. Just giving away a free two die there to uh, block Mighty Blow. Yeah, but he, he couldn't afford to fail the dodge once he'd once he piled basically. So it's a w w weird one. Weird to like make it like you know be this man up and then still struggle to be safe. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, all of that all of that guard and Mighty Blow was just waiting for him, right? Well, he's perfectly safe now. So yeah, yeah, I managed to. Yeah. Pom an orc, foul it, and then I'm not worth her in it. Definitely not over for the orcs because I mean these are only KOs, right? If if these were cars, then yeah. it would be over. <laughs> it would have already been over, yeah. Yeah, if these and were he's cars, gonna, it's over. he's gonna get the two, uh, the two kick, like so, fifty percent. <laughs> I I came unstuck with this before, didn't I? <laughs> so like he'd expect to get two back on the first roll and then one back on the second roll. So three of those four should come back. Yeah, each and you one came up with that calculation. Plus. How, Dimmy? Can you explain that to us? Because it's a four plus, right? So it's 50, <laughs> it's fifty percent. Like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's two fifty percent tries. So each individual one is seventy five percent to come back. So you would imagine about three will come back, but it's very easy for for two or four, two or four to come back. Isn't it? Yes, yeah. And um, Blood Bowl doesn't work like that. <laughs> it's almost, I was see. about to say it's almost like Dimmy's never played Blood Bowl. <laughs> I mean, that would be the sort of comment you'd make if you never played Blood Bowl. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, that, so yeah, and, and you would think that sweltering heat wouldn't take out nine players on one side, right? <laughs> To be fair, if you'd seen Dimmy play, you'd definitely think he hasn't played Blood Bowl. <laughs> wow. Oh, I don't know, man. I think Dimmy's game is uh, is pretty damn good. It is. Thank he, you. It is. It is, really, yeah. Yeah. Kim's just trying to throw me off because he knows that he's got to beat me in GG Tour because otherwise, <laughs> if he doesn't beat me, he's losing. So that's, that's the truth. Well, I, I heard Jim paid uh, Space Cadet 100 bucks to stay out of GG Tour. <laughs> Well, I heard, it, I heard it was 200 to be fair. <laughs> it's guaranteed losing money, even if I win, just so Space Cadet doesn't have to play me. <laughs> well, because it's a guaranteed loss, isn't it? Yeah. Reputation yeah, on the line. It's definitely, I haven't got one anymore. <laughs> one, two, <laughs> six. <laughs> Runs it in, turn eight. Yeah. Very comfortable so. half for the humans. Very yeah, comfortable. Yeah, ridiculously half. comfortable half, but only knockouts, right? Yeah, I didn't what? expect it. He failed all four KOs. Nobody saw that coming. Uh, what was the math on that? Uh, what? To fail four out of four? Wow, that's. Yeah. One in 16. One in 16. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. I would have had no idea. I wouldn't throw you under the bus. Would you not? No, no, no. Honestly. Well, 50% 50, 50 one in two, right? And I, I would have just said it would have been really unlucky. <laughs> so, you just, so you just times each one by the next one. So one in two is then you just do two times two and then times by two times by two. So one in 16. Unless you roll them separately, which then it's just 50 50. Yeah. <laughs> no. Which is how you roll them. So. <laughs> Four times. <laughs> yeah. No, it's one in sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it either happens or it doesn't, so it's fifty fifty. So Jim, I found a new game that you need to uh you need to stream. You have a PS five, right? Or a PS four? I don't know. Who has a uh, PS five? And, and you need to stream Dragon's Crown. It's a game right up your alley, brother. Who who over the age of thirty owns a PS five? Not me. Oh, there's yeah, several I, I uh, Blood Bowl coaches who happen to play it, you know. Yeah, but they're, they've they got to be 29, like all Blood Bowl coaches. Hey, very good. 
very... Oh, no, oh, I don't think I'll ever buy a PlayStation or an Xbox ever again. Like, also, there's a one-turn chance here, look, by the way. This is a one-turn chance. This is interesting. No, I'm never, I'm never going to go back uh, after going PC. Um, so this is the defensive setup from Fangio. I didn't like this defensive setup. I would have rather it was had... too far forward, right? Yeah, I would have rather yeah. had, like, one or two further back and then only five on the la on, on one line and then there's three no, on the line in yeah. front of them. So there's no point would you stagger that Jim or would you just put the whole line back no 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 there's so, no point there's no point in putting the two guys on the sidelines because there's an option like the troll can throw the goblin out of bounds um and surf the goblin basically so you kind of don't need to cover the sides right I'm sharing my screen I'll, I'll show you I'll show you so now you you two, you two can see here so I would put a guy here in this square and a guy here and a guy here, and a guy here, and a guy here. So then, yeah. Th so then, with those five players, you, you cover the entire. Uh, you because they've got stunty, right? It doesn't matter having two here because they've got stunty. So yeah, but they're gonna throw it down the middle regardless because if they throw it to the side, it moves. Yeah, but if they, the side, if they if they throw right? it to the side, there is an opportunity that you just surf your own goblin. But if you don't put one to the side, then they throw it there and they score. So you no, 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 you put it. one, you put one, yeah, you don't put two, you don't put two. Yeah, that's what I said, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, and that leaves you three more players. So then you put so one it, here, yeah, one cover here, the middle one, one here, so, yeah, so you have the middle stack Double more. dodge, yeah, double yeah. dodge. And, yeah. and, and, yeah, uh, Terrible landing, yeah. terrible landing, yeah. Yeah, so I really didn't like the way Fanjo defended this. Um, it should be it should be six squares back from the LOS and not five. Yeah, or maybe it's even another one. I don't know, but I, I would have definitely had it further back. And I did a great YouTube set for the throw team. I did, yeah, I did, and still got scored on. <laughs> I still got scored on. That was the funniest still thing. Still got scored on. <laughs> the funniest thing about it was I got stuck on. What, what yeah, the same there, playlist as the one turn video that you did that took six turns. No, no, that that didn't go on YouTube in the end. Yeah, maybe I could have done the thing to draw on. But I mean, you can see which one I'm hovering, can't you? You can see where I'm hovering. This square, this square, this square. Oh, Ollie Bully Nolly's here. He's got. He's 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 jumped in with a pass block before we could jump in on. Oh, he's raided as well. Thank you very much for the raid, Ollie. Yep. Thank you very much, Malicious. All right. Let's see this uh, this play as if we haven't seen it before. Yeah. We, well, you haven't seen this before. So there's the, there's the blitz to make this a three dice. Very good. Correct. Um. By Rick. There's that Rick's push team. again, which yep. was the tail of the first half. Slightly greedy push. No, 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 it's not slightly greedy, it's not slightly greedy at all, because by pushing to here it means that he can he can block again, and then that means... See, if he pushes yeah, to here, he can't throw with a, with a troll, right? The troll's got to throw from here, and every square counts when you're doing the throw teammate. So he has to he has to push there and 2D him again, so he gives him another 75% chance to power him, so that he can get an extra square of movement on the toss. Okay, okay, yeah, I, I, yeah. Yeah, okay. otherwise he can't move forward, right? Or yeah. shouldn't move forward. Yeah, should, well, it makes it worse, yeah, so you, you don't want to make it worse, so, yeah. Unless he has nerves of steel. Yes, if he had just nerves of steel, he, it would have been greedy. <laughs> but he doesn't have nerves of steel, so it was prudent. And here we go, here's the Goblin throw. Has the ball. What's going to happen here, Jim? I'm, I'm sure he's going to throw him. He's made the throw, so he's failed the landing, re-roll goes in. Oh, diced. Absolutely diced. Rick is yeah. never lucky. Yeah. And what is the scatter on that? Because it must have gone like left. It hit the ogre. The like, scatter it... hit the ogre and the ogre fumbled it back again. Ah. You could see it in the little in the in the animation. You could see yeah, it. Yeah, because I was thinking I, I was thinking like why is it that square? Because that's the square we aimed at already. Yeah, he got three that time. Mm, so he's come out with the exact three that you would expect, but not in the order you would expect. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be fair, that's a, a rookie blitzer, isn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah, so he's, it's a lineman, in fact. So he's Rick is only it's missing two linemen, so he's not down any quality. Well, he is down a little bit of quality. Um, he's replaced a rookie lineman with a block catch sure feet goblin. So, you know, he's arguably better than a lineman anyway, isn't he? Like, he's certainly more TV than a lineman. Arguably, yeah. Very, very arguably. <laughs> Argu arguably, he's more TV. How does uh, 
He's arguably better, like he's definitely more TV, but he's it's it's still arguably better than, <laughs> than being a... Well, well, what does Jim always say about, you know, a player with a skill versus a player without a skill? Well... He's better than Rookie Goblin. He's better than Rookie Goblin, but is he better than a Rookie... Um, what does Jim say yeah. about Goblins is the real question. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at that. There is a yeah, huge that was nice. That was a very nice big, big pal right there. No Apo. Yeah, yeah there was surprised. a wonder there if we were going to see that Apo early, but... You know, there's a... Uh, we had come to the determination that he was just only working to uh, to save that plus uh, the movement guy, right? Or the edge guy, I should say. Yeah, I think he I think he wanted to save it for like at least the fast players. Yeah, like m maybe these two and uh, the 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 two. Yeah, but two there's a, there's a certain there's a certain irony to that, right? Be because like the non apo means that you think that it's not going to overtime, right? Well, yeah, that's the thing. I would want the ogre f in case I lost the toss on overtime, right? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. So, that's so what I'm here's saying, the thing. Well, no, here's what I'm saying. I'll, I'll pause it. So here's what I'm saying. Uh, if I would app, oh God, Christ, I can't speak. I've got I'm to, expecting. I've got to if I, if no, I'm no, Dimmy, Dimmy, let me, let me, water, let me say it. Let me say it, Dimmy. Let, let me say it. So, no, no. With, with this, with this one, I would apo it because I would think I could win if I lost the toss in overtime. Just because I think I'm good. That's when I would apo it, right? But looking at this, can you beat this orc team if you lose the toss in overtime? Probably fucking not, right? If you lose the toss against this orc team, you probably just fucking lose. So in that case, if you win the toss in overtime, do you need the ogre? Probably not, because if you win the toss in overtime, you've probably got like, you know, eight or nine players, you know, seven or eight players maybe. You're trying to quick score and win. You can't win if you lose the toss, because look at this orc team. So I think he assessed it that, you know, it's oh, it's he's he's not going to stop Rick, right? He's not going to look look at the Orc team. Like literally, how do you stop this on offense? You you can't. I, I still think he went out yeah. went about it from a standpoint of hey, if I lose the ogre permanently, what do I care moving forward in Chalice? Mm, no, I, no, no, no. It's not that. It's not that. What it, what it is? I think I'm it, correct. Yeah, but it's it's like a backwards mentality because if if you're not Apo in the ogre, you're saying. That you believe that you can stop Brick? No. 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 Well, I would hope he thinks he could stop Rick. He's playing him in Chalice. No. no, like stop him scoring because the ogre would be vital for the overtime because you can like hold up two or three players with it. I would have just thought he would have wanted the ogre in there to stand in and bang some more. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's not he's really there to bang. He's not really. Like, I mean, obviously it helps if he bangs, but well, like the reason for that though, Dim is the first half he banged away. You know. Yeah, he's good. I mean, he's a great player. He's a great player to have, and obviously you would rather have him in overtime. But it's all. It's only you're only going to get him back in overtime, right? So first of all, you might if you stop Rick, you win anyway, right? If you stop Rick on this drive, you win anyway. So I'm oh, yeah, yeah. I understand, I understand what you're saying. You're, you're, you're saying that if you get to overtime. If you win the toss, you don't need the ogre. But what if you lose the toss? Then I think you'd just lose anyway. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I would be... I, that's the mentality I would have. Okay. Honestly, because look at this fucking team. Like, I'd be lying down. I'd literally just be trying to snipe this guy like he did. Big gang foul. Love it. But then if you are, if you are lying down, then why don't you up the ogre? No, I won't give in <laughs> until I'm victorious. Because I, I, I could use it on a KO or something. I will be uh, but but you're lying down, Jim. Right? It's like in the it's overtime a count, or whatever. It, it messes with my brain. That decision messes with my brain, like because it's like, yeah. I mean, I like, might have appled it. You've only got 15 seconds, but I could. Well, maybe yeah. what I should have said was I could have seen myself not appling it, thinking if I lose the or if I lose the toss. It's, See, know. I would have thought that because he's playing Rick with this team. First positional of any value that gets KO'd. Not even KO'd. I mean, either either KO'd or Kaz'd gets uh, gets Apo. You, you don't you don't Apo a Kaz in the second half. But it was the first I, block as well. Like, it's the know, first know, block. This I, is the thing. It's the first block, and he's instantly been badly hurt, right? So the badly hurt is good to Apo because he's badly hurt. But it's the first block. He hasn't even got the rest of his LOS in the blitz, and he's going to smash it. He's going to keep smashing you, and you, you've lost a strength five guard to like try and. Yeah, fight but him. If, if you so, think it's going, if you think it's going to OT, 
the new app over, right? Is that yeah, not? That's what I'm saying. That I think you, I think you have logic? to assume it's going to OT. Yeah, is that not logic? Or and then you just lie down and run away and let Rick score. Like, or is that wrong? Am I am I wrong in this? I can no. I'm just saying. I can see either way. I can see either way. Like, uh, okay, okay, like okay, because like this is like I've been taught both schools of thought, like, and uh, I guess the the guess I guess the thing is right. How much does the ogre help you on your offense if you win the toss? Not yeah. a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Versus if you lose the toss, does the ogre help? Maybe. I, I don't know, mate. I don't know. So it's a really hard call. And I think it's a harder call than um, people understand. It's fair. a very hard call to make in 15 seconds. That's for yeah. sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But I. Oh, now this is an easy apple. If it was a bad yep. earth, but it wasn't. Yep. It was a. It was a. I don't know. It was a perm. So yeah, easy apple on that perm. Um. And Are you apoing that with the AG5? Like, and then. Well, why, but that piece like, was also uh, guard, block, catcher. I mean, yeah, yeah but the AG5, the AG5 is everything in this game, right? So, like, if you're going to eat the Ogre Apo, then eat that Apo and keep the AG5 alive. No, no, because you need this guy to score in, in overtime. I hated this. Did I hate this? Yeah, I hated this. Because um, I would have just gone for the AG5 touches. Yeah, yeah, that that was just wrong. Yeah, yeah, I would have definitely dodged that edge five out first. Yeah, get the edge five. I'm not the really hell sure why. The yeah, tackles. why the thought process was let's do this guy yeah. as if he was the most. I mean, he's valuable. Don't get me wrong, but well, he was he was trying he was gonna he was gonna blitz this guy, wasn't he? And then like sidestep him over here or 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 something. But like it's just like, you've got to maximize the odds of getting out with a with a catcher, isn't it? And the the best is best odds of getting out. Or, Dodging with Don. I honestly believe that he maybe should have just ran away. Yep. I mean, you shouldn't have had this happen. This is the one thing that you need to not happen, <laughs> and it happened. Yeah, like on was, on defense, was... it's the only thing that has to happen is this not happening. <laughs> yeah, this was pretty pretty rough to watch because as as much as we were saying that Rick got just blown off the field in the first half. You know, it was a tale of two halves, definitely. Yeah, yeah but, but Rick, Rick before, took so. KOs. Fanjo took Kaz. Like, yeah. And then the Apo... Like... Like, Apo the Ogre... I don't know, I don't know. It, it's, it's really, really hard. It's a I've, tough call. I mean, we can always second-guess coaches all day long, right? Until you're there playing that game at that turn. Yeah, but if, if the game... If the game is like, don't Apo the Ogre, I need the Apo for the AG5 then the game is keep the AG5 alive, in which case you're not even entertaining Rick's drive. You're just running away. No, the, the, the game is, right, the game is, oh my, It's you don't have a game plan. I hate game plans. I never have a game plan. I never plan. You never have a game apple. plan. I never, never plan what I'm going to apple or anything like that, no. It's entirely situational. The situational is the first block has removed your ogre, which has massively impacted your ability to fight in this drive and your ability to stop in this drive. So... You know, it instantly becomes a question of what happens in overtime. If I lose the toss, I probably just lose the game anyway. So if I win the toss, I don't really need the ogre that much. I'll save my apple for the edge five or another catcher because I need the catchers to score against him quickly. Yeah, but the way he apoed the other catcher was right before the edge five got hit. Well, yes, but I mean, he could have dodged. He was able to dodge away with the catcher. He just didn't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> he yeah, just yeah, chose yeah. not to dodge away with the edge five catcher, which I thought was terrible. And also, he shouldn't have engaged with them in the first place. He should have been more careful with his edge five. Like, you know, you have to keep this guy alive for your own drive at this point. So well, I, well, I would have laid down. On, I would, I would, I would have laid down after the ogre cas. Even if I apple, whether I apple or I don't apple it, I'm still lying down for the rest of the half. Like, not, or, or like you know, sniping and then eventually giving up. Yeah, yeah. Blitz him with tackle palm and running away. Yeah. What about this play, Jim? Yep, and then here oh, comes the pass. God. Honestly, you're, Rick. You're, you're always guaranteed this in a Rick game, right? Oh my god, Rick. <laughs> this was the worst. This was he could have, he could have just it. If, if he handed off, like, with a reroll, he would have made it. But he, yeah, but he doesn't want to use a reroll though, does he? Because it's overtime. Like, overtime is his best possible scenario. Like, you cannot... If it's the first half... Fine, right? 
You've you've got three rerolls. You can reroll three times in 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 picking it up or, or, or catching, right? So you've got three chances to you can put in all three rerolls to get in the ball. If you if you if you're doing it in normal in in the first half and the second half, and then he's left him. So he doesn't even reroll it there. Like you have to reroll it there. No, but you need re rolls for overtime. Yeah, but you ha still oh, have to re roll it there because you can't only have a one in nine. Oh my god. Yeah, that was that was mental from me. Like that was so bad. That was honestly so so unbelievably bad. I was like <laughs> I was I was so hard it was so hard to be positive on Rickstream. I was so, like I was so you know Jim, trying to make light of it and saying it was fifteen or sixteen, it's the same no, no, shot. it's not. It's not because you've got an extra time. If you reroll it on turn fifteen, you can reroll it on sixteen as well, right? So you've got four chances to pick it up. Then, like you know, it's an extra chance to pick it up. So, so okay, Rick so made it a one in nine to win. Another re okay. Yeah, he, he made it a one in nine to lose instead of a one in twenty-seven to lose, which I think that's worth using a reroll. <laughs> <laughs> and then sweltering heat does very little to either side here. Yeah. One in twenty-seven because he's failed at first, right? He's failed the first one. But the KO decision. rolls are what uh, what happened, right? Yep. 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 The edge five stays I out. Mean, the other yeah. stay out. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't really matter so much this turn with the free stand firmers. Like if it, if it, uh, if it kept the stand firmer out, then it's more interesting. But yeah, he hasn't even got the players probably to to, to get. Uh, no, without a catcher, no. I think you need like eight for movement seven. Like. Well, it's movement eight, so. Um, and there's going to be a ton of guard and stuff, so yeah, they'll probably that's the thing, yeah. yeah, if Rick doesn't have the stand firm, then he puts everyone else up, and it's just. it's, it's You know, I don't. I don't think it's going to be Different yeah, if he had then, the. If he had the. You're, had the you're open up to the, uh, to the right and stuff then, like, which is, I think, right. Yeah, I yeah, mean, if he has the edge five, then then obviously he's got sidestep, so it becomes a lot better, doesn't it? And edge five, so he, he could he could have scored if he had the edge five uh, um, against no stand firm. Unlikely to be able. So, so he failed three KO rolls on turn fifteen, and then we're going to see what happens here on turn sixteen. Mm. But first, he's got to pick up the ball. Yep, and see who wins the coin toss. Only one comes back, the catcher stays out. Yep, that uh, big catcher, that was just crazy. Yeah, that's huge. That's uh, Eddie play. Yeah. And the weather change, so these guys. Back. There's, no, there's no heat ruining the game, which is nice. And the humans win the toss, so it is a game. Yep, Banjo gets the gets the uh, toss. Yeah, I feel like if the Orcs had won the toss, this was already over. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, it's not. It's not over, Jim. Because he, you know, he's he's down so much quality, right? He's, he's still got ten players on the field, but he's down the edge five catcher. He's down a blodge guard blitzer. He's down a guard blitzer. And he's down a guard stand for Morga. So he's down so yeah, much he's, quality. He's down three pieces of guard against Rick's team at this point. Yeah, yeah, huge, huge quality loss from from the humans, and who were already behind in quality, I thought anyway. So, so yeah, this was imperative that they won the toss, and they did. So they've got they've got a shot, right? They can they can score quickly. Desperation score. He doesn't want to put anybody on the line here. He's trying to figure that out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't like, engage the line. Like, there. Is he? But he does. I don't go blame him, it. considering the first LOS uh, of the second half. He still he ends up going for it though, doesn't he? he ends up going for this two D. Yeah, but oh, I don't know why to, right? I don't know why Rick did a closed LOS here because you want to tie up the three guys that Fanjo puts on the LOS, so I would put a gap here. Mm. But then if you put a gap, it's harder to defend the quick score, right? And he really has to defend the quick score. No, 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 because like he has to dodge off with AG three, like. No, you're wrong. And he's got the troll in the middle as well, and he's got guard on either side, so you're not going to hit the troll. Wider LOS is definitely worse against a quick score. 
hundred percent. No, 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 not wide, <laughs> wide. Just put one gap. Put well, one a gap. gap. Oh, a gap is wider. I said a wider defense is have worse. How is how is that not worse? How is that not worse? How is like, it not I, it, exactly? It is worse. You're right. It, it, yeah, but no. If I was Pancho, like I would put one guy on the far left and one guy on the far right and one guy in the middle, and then I've got two free players that I didn't need to have. Well, yeah, yeah, he that, does that, that but then he can't back down the worried in the game, Dabuber. That, uh, where it lands there with the rain on the uh, sideline. Yeah, it was, was unbelievable chain in the rain. What I would have done here yeah. is, like, he'd obviously, uh, Fanjo had in his mind he wanted to blitz with a pommer. Uh, blitz, blitz the tackle pommer with his own pommer, which is a great blitz, to be fair, right? Like, that's a great blitz to want to do. But I think with the kick where it went, I think what he should have done was put in the two players, blitz the uh, black orc here, so he's got three players out in front. And then go for the pickup with the catcher. Yeah, this is this is kind of like the poison apple kick, isn't it? <laughs> it's yeah. like, Brutal. it's like, yeah, you've won the kick, uh, like you've won the toss, but like, I'm gonna drag you away from the side. And imagine he was on the other side, like it, like if he set out for the other side, it was. Uh... Do you reckon that's like a right-handed, left-handed thing, like where people who are left-handed just automatically pick the left um, Maybe, people yeah. right hand make I think it might be like honestly it might be this is uh, this is the part where the uh, where the troll decided to just go full Monty on the uh, on anybody trying to dodge off of him <laughs> yeah he was like you wouldn't let anybody off of him this was crazy this troll he was definitely the player of overtime as far as I was concerned yeah yeah, with, with the rain, I didn't like not having the ball and the catcher. Because, okay, you can hand off to a catcher, but it's a 4+. plus, So, like, it's kind of rubbish. Have, uh, have you guys ever seen uh, The Odd Couple? No, I haven't. Okay, I would suggest you guys watch that and watch that together. Because that's exactly who the two of you are. <laughs> we, should, we should watch it on our birthday. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, we're, we're not doing hot ones. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing hot ones. <laughs> No, we're not. Uh, $120 for the Hot One sources. Wow. And this oh, was a mistake. This was a mistake. Yeah, yeah. This was a mistake by Rick, I thought. This is interesting, right? Because he has not got anything deep. And... Yeah, Tree called this out specifically, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, so, he's got a few options. But what he wants to do is he wants to, you know... Well, let's see. How do you do it? You, he's got a player free here, so he assists. He then blocks him on two dice. Then you've got the Blitzer free. Blitzer can 1D over here. Then he can 2D. And then you have uh, you just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hand off to him. And he, he runs away. And you, he, you can win now, right? You can, you can just double GFI and be safe. I think this was 100% the play for Fanjo. Like, without any doubt. That is that is the play I'm doing. A, a hundred. Seeing as D Daedal's in chat, isn't he, I think? A million percent this is the play I would do. <laughs> wow. Yeah, but are you going to scream at the dice when they don't work? Oh, yes, 100%. Only 100% of that, though. <laughs> and then he doesn't, he, he does the more conservative play. Which I think the conservative play, like, I think this is the right play if you have, you know, all of these oh, yeah. players. <laughs> if you have an ogre. If you have an ogre. An ogre and an, and an edge five ball carrier with the ball. And, yeah, the, and only time two more the only time he attempts pro, it fails. Yeah. Pro is terrible, like, honestly. <laughs> Fuck it now. Well, it was mentioned in uh, in chat earlier that jugs would have been much nicer on that piece, right? Uh, yeah. I just don't. I'm not a fan of pro. And why would you take pro before piling on? Like, think how much SPP that boy would have, like, if he had took part in on before pro. Yeah. Like, I reckon at least 6 to 14, depending on how many games. Like. You're, you're wrong, Dog to the Dog, my way was better. <laughs> Sorry, I just just got to say that. <laughs> I'm, hit, I'm hitting the stand firm on two dice with Wrestle, which is obviously better. Mate, Kill Bill's Wizard was mental, and he just got away with it. Mm. Are you moonlighting on us, Dimmy? Are you watching another game? No, no, I watched I watched Kill Bill versus Arzawain. Yeah. And he, he took an incredibly high risk play and he, he got rewarded. Yeah, I liked it. I liked it. I called it as well before. Okay, so now Rick is starting to move some pieces back here. I mean, mine, 
Mine isn't just fine, mine's better. <laughs> <laughs> Similar, but mine's better. Um, so here, he, he should have he should have based right because then there's not this instant two D. Yeah, a 2D it, with it should, that, well, that yeah. should have been a hundred percent base. Yeah. Yeah. What do you care about the goblin anyway, right? And he's getting blitzed as yeah. well anyway, so he, he just he just had the free thing. You know, like this isn't a super criticism of Rick or anything. Reroll um, was fucking mental. He pro, like, he pro it. He pro it. Oh, pro. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and it, it's it's better to power him, isn't it? Like, okay, he could have he could have won in thirty six, but he's in he's in he's in like he's up shit creek, isn't he? So like, I, that's a totally fine place. Yeah, to yeah, and he took this block before he moved the ball carrier. As yeah, well. that was a bit wild, wasn't it? Yeah, why are you doing that? Just get the ball up the pitch. Like, yeah. if you if you won in nine there, like you're dead. This stun is great though, right? Because now he he gets to he gets to put this blitzer and extra. Extra square forward and put him in a scoring range because the, these both being stunned means like you know it's a three, it's a paravel screen, squeen, but it's still an actual screen, right? Because uh, there's my man the troll putting in work, man. Eats up a uh, a reroll and then the next guy into a cast. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah. That oh cool. my that, god. That troll, man, he had sticky fingers. It was awesome. Mm, I wonder if he shouldn't have used a reroll that turn actually. Because did it matter? Like, he already had the important stuff, didn't he? The important stuff was done, which is these two guys and this guy. But I hate having the ball on. Oh. Massive Kaz. Well, not Kaz removal for Rick. And this is a massive pickle for Fanjo. My play was appalling, honestly. It was <laughs> my play here is to dodge him off one d uh, no two d blitz because he's got guard, isn't he? So three plus dodge off two d the the orc in front. Have this guy killed first. Um, and that's when he killed Drymor. <laughs> yeah, and then dodge off and then hand off in a tackle zone, so like a five plus, and then score. Yeah, I didn't like it. So he, he does do this blitz. And he gets the stun. And getting the stun, you know, Probably that does change things because now yeah. maybe, maybe you think, but I still like, I honestly still, you've got to dodge off anyway, right? So, and you've got a skill, you've got a skill reroll for the handoff, like for the catch, and a skill reroll for the dodge, and it's only one GFI, so I'm, I'm still definitely handing off to that catcher. Like a hundred percent, I know, because he's not stopping just an instant two dice on the ball, unless he goes uh, three two. Oh, if he, no, no, if he makes his three plus, it's three fine. three two two, he's got to make. To no, no, no. What he has to do is take Mister. Well, yeah, okay, yeah. There's, there's my man, the troll again, yeah, and into a stun. <laughs> yep, yep, the troll, absolutely dominant. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he had a double GFI, um, and I mean that locks it down. To be fair, that's that's really good. Um, if he makes that three two two, but I I would have just gone for the, the five plus catch and, uh, and then the three plus dodge and the two plus GFI because I feel like if you if you don't do that it's not going to work especially as the reroll's gone maybe if you've still got the reroll then you do that play right because then you've got a reroll for the three two two but I think once your reroll's gone then you just like screw it give it the catcher because he's got team rerolls like he's got skill rerolls. Oh, severe narcolepsy. Yeah, which is the norm for orc teams, right? At least one every three turns. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder if he needed that GFI. I wonder if he could have just gone in the front there. That's interesting, isn't it? Like it's good having extra tackle zone. It, like it's definitely better to be here. Yeah, it's definitely better to have the tackle zone. But you're right. You're on the player. The player's still got to dodge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stand firm on the ball is epic. It is really good. Yeah. Because it would be in a tackle zone, Jolie, and it's raining. <laughs> we could have just three plus backwards, and then four plus dodged in, five plus pick up, three plus dodge out, and then scores. Yeah, well, there's, what, uh, there's Starko Bolt. That was uh, Dimmy's pick for his fantasy squad. It was. <laughs> what he should have done here is dodge out, uphill surf the the blitzer, the Mister Throw, right? Just uphill surfing. 
and then pick it up in one tackle zone, which is a five plus, which is still shit. Um, and then that he couldn't have handed off. Did you not see? Did you not see the player, Joe? Like human linemen aren't move twelve. He would have just scored. We're, we're talking a few turns ago. He couldn't have handed off. He could have passed it to the end zone, but to pass it to the end zone, he would have had to have dodged off and GFI'd first, and then dodged, and then like done a long pass or something. And then it's so it's just obviously better to, to do the handoff in the tackle zone, I think. Um, so yeah, I don't know. He, he did this dodge. So maybe the play here was he was going to 1D the stand firm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I, like, I literally don't know what his idea was with this dodge. Was he going to 1D with a blitzer and then put him in there? He was probably just going to get him back as another scoring threat for later if necessary. I mean, I can't imagine he was going to... Like, he had to set up something. It had, it had to, like, he had to be assisting a hit or, or something, because otherwise you just go for it, right? So, I mean, maybe he was going to stand here and then blitz with, a, blitz with a blitzer and get him in there and then just try. Because I guess, so I guess there's four turns. So, yeah, I guess what he was thinking was assist here, 1D blitz, and then go in. And then, you know, he's, he's making it messy with tackle zones around the ball and just hope that... He, you know, Rick. He can stop Rick from scoring in normal time, right? I guess that's that was his must have been his play because it wasn't helping him score. <laughs> it definitely wasn't helping him score, but the score was pretty difficult. So yeah, maybe he just thought, "I'm not going to win. I can try to stop Rick winning and hope to win on kicks," which is pretty negative. But I mean, come on, he's like the ball's in two tackle zones in the rain, and he's only got. Two players left standing. <laughs> One player left standing. No players left standing. Pretty rubbish for Fanjo right now. But there we go. The rain having an effect. A double three yep. on the pickup. So it fails the Unbelievable, Jeff. Yeah, double a double rain impact. Doesn't doesn't do the safe moves first of standing these guys up. Which you know is probably good because they just get banged down again with mighty blow, so that probably is right to leave them lying down. And this is the guy who Rick scored on the first half, right? Got him to 28. So randomly, this guy is in position to be the one who scores, which is pretty good. Pretty nice for Rick. Look a dog. You say randomly, Jim. It is randomly, yes. <laughs> it's definitely 100% randomly. <laughs> there was no 7D chess of him being left up there, you know many many turns in advance are what, you sure <laughs> yes i am i'm a hundred i'm a million percent sure so rick goes for the pickup first here one two three four five so it'd be a quick pass i much preferred moving this guy first so that you know at least if you've got the uh at least he's in range without any gfis right so at least if you fail the pickup here or fail the pass or whatever then you've got him next turn. You can just go up six as the first action. Then you can try and well, get you, it to him again. You throw the pass next turn. You don't throw it this turn. Well, either way, whatever you do, you move him here first, right? I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. But you don't throw this turn. You well, I would throw this turn as well, and then if it failed, try and give myself another chance to throw it to him. That's what I would do. Another rain affected pickup. In fact, you could hand, you could hand off to him next turn. Yep, one, two, three, four, five, one. You could hand off to him next turn, not even pass. So I would, but I would have gone for the hand. I would have gone for the pass this turn, um, which obviously I would have failed because I would have failed the pickup. And then this was a pickup here, going for the win, the six plus pickup. Um, and then that, unfortunately for Fanjo, just helps Rick because the, <laughs> the throw in puts it right in front of this guy. Uh, which works out. Mr. Yes. Throw with the amazing uh, fumble pass. Yeah. And funny enough, if, if so, if Rick had moved that guy first, um, like down, I guess if he moved him first in the middle, he'd be, he'd be laughing. But if he'd moved him over here, he'd have been a bit screwed. So it actually works out great for Rick that he didn't move this guy first. 
Well, Rick was anticipating the attempted pickup by the catcher that would go out of bounds and then land on the 50-yard line. Yeah, yeah, obviously. <laughs> Being blood bone Jesus and all. <laughs> Another injury. <laughs> Injuries don't really matter at this point. Yeah, at this point, it, it, it's not an issue, but... There's your narcolepsy. Yeah, so this is Rick just going down the middle here. And what he should have done was, of course, go around down this side. <laughs> um, because he's in range of the wrestle hit here. Whereas if he pushes this guy, even if he pushes this guy, then it's a 4-3 and he's got to go, you know, like he hasn't got block. I need to have to come all the way around. Oh, or you activate the troll and move one square forward. Yep. yep. Or you, or you, um, or you do the blocks first with block to see if you if you knock them down. If you knock this guy down, then you go that way and stuff. So, but I mean, this was like a two-hour game or something. So at this point, um, this wasn't even a two-hour game. Remember? Oh no, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't. No, this no, is actually this a really quick game. Past, yeah. man. This one. Yeah. This was like a, an hour 15. Yeah, it was actually, yeah, with, even with though there were three halves, it was super quick, yeah. Uh, but still, it had been going on for a long time, and I guess it was a bit mentally drained. And like he, sa he said it as soon as it finished, he was like, oh, I should have gone the other way. So it's just one of those things, isn't it? Yeah, Ben, that was so brilliant. One yeah. of the things we noticed here is we know I've never seen or noticed... All of the injured and knocked out players laying down in the end zone for the humans. Yeah. They actually drag the bodies out for the kicks. <laughs> yeah, pretty great. So yeah, both both sides had a reroll, um, so it was even on on equity. So what what the kicks were was what they rolled. So they've both at least rolled two, and then um, obviously Fanjo's going first. So it's getting progressively lower odds for Rick to win, right? Each time Fanjo scores, it's worse for Rick. Cause you, and you know exactly how much, because he's had to roll the three. He has. Ooh, very exciting. So exciting. It's like watching the World Cup, right? Yep. Fanjo's rolled like a watching, four. It's like watching... Who, who's got Roberto Baggio on their team? <laughs> oh... It's it's like watching Dim play a uh, uh, farming simulator. <laughs> I mean, Wait. the Roberto Baggio was definitely the agility five catcher, wasn't it? Because he was the best player in, on the team by a mile. <laughs> Oof! He's rolled at least a five. Fanjo has Rick rolled at least a five. He has. Who's taking the sixth penalty for Fanjo? Gareth Southgate. It is the catcher. It is the Edge 5 catcher. And he is Baggio. <laughs> Unbelievable, Jeff. <laughs> and of course, we draw the six. <laughs> Why, why wouldn't Rick roll a six in a penalty shootout? <laughs> Imagine if he'd rolled anything else. <laughs> so there you go. Um, and then the game crashes after that. Well, the replay crashes because, you know, of course it does. Just, uh, just cyanide things. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the first of uh, of two games that, that day, in fact. <laughs> yes, so yeah, what happened with Rick was he, he didn't have a lot of availability for the the, next, the second round, so he played out his second round opponent and did did back-to-back -back Chalice games. So yeah, we, we shall do the replay of that round of 32 game uh, forthwith. So yeah, commiserations to Fanjo, congratulations to Rick Reckless. Thank you very much, Dimmy G and Jack Bull. Absolutely glorious to have you guys here. Thank you, Jim. Appreciate it. Yeah, cheers, Jim. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>